resolution is full. Okay, no problem. I apologize. Chad just brought the smallest computer possible. <laughs> so, for easy payroll, you need to start the easy POS back office. The icon will be there on the desktop of the machine. And you need to select the real system environment as your database is configured in your system. Uh, sample data environment is for your testing purpose. Okay, we'll always have access to the sample practice. Yes, you will be having all the time access whenever you want to do a practice. Perfect. Okay, then it is asking me to select the database. There will be only one database next gen. And then we have the login things like we have a username password login then we have a user code and we have a swipe card as well okay i'll log in with the username and password <coughs> okay so this is my easy pos back office in there, you will be able to see the configuration, property setup, and then user configuration. You can create the user from here, new user login ID password. Just click on new, type the username. Varen, can you expand your screen? No. Okay. Well, you uh, say, look, what happens from here? Can you share me your team your ID password so I can see what you can see? So I'll be able to see what can be done on your system. 6388. 48201, right? Yeah. And the password is? Capital B. Capital B. B like Victor. Okay. Capital V. No, no, small, lowercase v. Lowercase v. V, V like Victor. Capital. What is that called? Um, the, bracket? It's, it's not the regular bracket, though. Yeah, I don't know what that's called. I think you are watching my password. Yeah, I think we are watching your password. No, I want your password. <laughs> Where's our password? Uh, we can uh, open the team viewer. And click on this icon. Which icon? Which icon? Uh, you can see this arrow. My mouse is hovering. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, you click on that icon on your team viewer. On your team viewer. Oh, okay. And now share me your ID. It's not giving us that option. Uh, so uh, in this uh, configuration, there will be a user configuration. And uh, in that user configuration, user operation, you need to cl click if you want to create a new user. Just click on new, type shares, okay. password you want to give anything, you can give the password. Are we on the real time one right now or no? No, uh, we are in, no, yes, we are in real time. Yeah, this is your database, I think. Let okay. me start the demo, so that will be much better. Okay. Can you start with the um, payroll? Are you, are you starting with payroll? Yes. Okay, perfect. So you want to see the user configuration? If you want to create a username and password for your staff members. 
Can we do that after? Because my boss, Chris, wants to just see that portion. No issues. So I'll go to the and payroll. Then we'll go back to that. Okay, yes. I'll go to the payroll. Okay. Thank you, sir. Uh, and then the in payroll we have a configuration branch department shift designation scale job type category religion bank pay heads leave type employee and holidays okay uh, branch can you remove religion pardon can you remove religion or is that a cat can you remove any categories no this is the by default categories which is configured like branch, department, shift, designation, scales, all this will be there by default in the system. Okay. Okay. So you need to create the branch. Okay. You can create a new, as I have configured all your details. So you not you do not have to do that. I'm just showing you if you want to create a new branch. So you can create here. What do you mean by branch? Branch means you have a different different properties, and staff will be working on that branch, right? So you can create that. Okay. Then the department. Okay, the housekeeping staff or food and beverages, human source, human resource, then uh, accounting, uh, receptionist, front office manager, you can create that department. Okay. okay. Then you have the shifts, like shift it will be general, night shift, you can create that. So is this the shift, is that, can we preload? Uh, I have already uh, configured in your system no, for no, your no, property. Shifts. Not shifts. Schedule. <coughs> Schedule. If uh, John Doe is working from nine to five, can we put John Doe his schedule so, at nine to five? Yes. To yes. Five? For that, you need to create the shift first. Then you can assign the shift to that particular employee. Okay. So. Perfect. Okay. This will be a general shift, suppose. From nine to seven, and lunch time break time will be sixty minutes. Working days you need to select working days of that employee. Okay, and if you are giving an overtime after how many minutes should we count our overtime? So. 60 minutes. Can we do it in hours or does it have to be in minutes? It's It will be in minutes only. So, 60 minutes is equal to 1 hour. Okay. Uh, yes. Short time before means if the uh, clerk... If we send somebody home, the minimum that we pay them. Yes. Short time before. And then mark as a half day in hour between. You can mark a half day. So this yeah. way you can configure it and working days will be 21. You can select. Okay, that will be on a calendar. Then so okay. Con a save. Question here. Sorry, for a question. Yes. Some of these uh, things that you've configured are mostly in where in your country of work. In our country of work, we don't abide by these rules. So we want to be able to edit them to our country of rules. You will be able to edit the shifts. <clears throat> if I'll click on the security B shift and I'll click on add it. So I'll be able to change the time, the break, working days, uh, count over time, short before time. I can do that. Okay, so interval minutes. So if someone punches in, if they start at 9 o'clock yes. and... They um, punch in at 9.03. The yes. punch in begins at 9.15, for example. Yes. Is that what it is? Is it default? I think we choose it, no? Yeah, yeah, we choose it. Yes. So does, so, so that's what the interval minute means, correct? Yes, yes, yes. That means that. Put 15, and here we can put 15 as an example. 
okay so you can configure okay. that uh, that shift you can add it whichever shift is there configured in your system then the designation human resource manager clinical officer business service assistant junior accountant it coordinator cashier laundry attendant housekeeper you can create that designation just type the name and you need to select the department as i have created the department here housekeeping or yeah. something so you can create uh, assign that particularly departments okay. then the scale scale will be grade 1 or management what kind of scale you want to give didn't i give you the scales management uh, yes it is already configured in your system ah uh, okay how come i don't see it here uh will oh, do this it is the this is the demo this is the demo one ah oh, okay 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 yeah. uh then the job type what kind of job uh, they have like uh, in a coffee shop or uh, the person will be sitting in a conference or a dining facilities finance food and beverages okay kitchen reception support human resource housekeeping so okay. can create a job type then the category category is manager supervisor or support staff in the religion you can mention the religion if you want no no okay not in canada in the bank you can create a bank just a name only no any other information just a bank name and a code if you want to apply then the pay heads absent salary basic like you have a cpp right yeah, yeah. pay head like that will be deduction from employee so yeah okay so when you create a pay head you need to start it from the year beginning effective okay. date okay so you need to select that then account group this you can select anything this doesn't matter this is just for a reference then calculation it will be computed uh, computed flat rate on attendance it will be on attendance right deduction well, what's the difference so yeah let's figure that out can you explain that a little bit more please so like like the de de deduction will be from the attendance like what the earning will be on attendance right for how well, many days the uh, staff is present he will be getting that much salary okay <laughs> and the cpp will get deduct from the earning suppose mm -hmm. my sal i am your staff and my salary is 5000 and i was present for 20 days and my salary will be 4000 only in my hand my earning as per my attendance <laughs> right <laughs> so the so cpp will get deduct from 4000 not from 5000 Okay, two questions here. One, our pay heads because we have CPP, we have uh, insurable earnings EI. Okay. And uh, and uh, deductions at source basically are three different three different. Uh, so I'm just watching. I'm just uh, seeing at your uh, salary slip. Okay. Hold on one second. Now my question to you is this: That's perfect. That's the sheet that's generated from. it goes through quickbooks but it's generated online i'm oh, sorry it's generated in quickbooks but it's updated automatically by the canadian revenue revenue agency in our quickbooks program okay. my question to you is do you have do you have the ability um, does the system have the ability to uh, integrate with all the cra the canadian Re uh, revenue agency compliance regulations so you need to send me the calculation on what basis base of calculation you get you get deduction of cpp earnings like this is no. not a salary uh, like this is this will be the salary slip for your uh, staff okay so see let no. me show uh, you let me show you one slip here in my payroll
okay. that works beyond fifty-four thousand dollars a year. Okay. Okay. Revenue. Okay. His taxation rate and his deduction rates, the deductions at source, will change okay. from let's say twenty-two percent on average to be up to twenty-seven percent. But what we're saying right now, without having a link to the CRA, the Canadian Revenue Agency tables, it would have to be a manual, a manual adjustment. So we will have to, we will have to monitor that. Whereas QuickBooks, you do not need to monitor that. It does it automatically. Okay. So that thing, I think I need to check with the technical team. Because we have. Are you familiar with QuickBooks at all? Yes, I am familiar with the QuickBook, but not as yes. good as an accountant. Okay. okay. <laughs> no problem. So we are so we we are not um okay. we're not enter we're not using QuickBooks Enterprise solution, and I can get Chaz to send you what version of the online QuickBooks we're using, but we're using online QuickBooks. Okay. So. That is a very, the payroll, everything you're showing is great, um, but it is a very important aspect of what we need to do for the accounting. Because I do not want the system, I don't want things to be double entered. Once into easy, then manually enter it back into yeah. QuickBooks. Yeah. Because that's going to lead to errors. <clears throat> so can we track, is there any, function in the payroll that we can export yes there is an option of export data and what type of file will see we export? holiday timesheet leave application these three things will be exported in what type of format from date you can select It will be in XML format. Excel. Okay. Mm. You can't really know. Can you see? Yeah. Okay. So the employee name. date then in time out time completed work hours so this detail will be there in the exported files so you need to check with quickbook that they can import the excel file in this format it depends on the table. From what I understand, anything you export to QuickBooks, that's in the exact table. Okay. So we can adjust that on our end. So for the pay heads, uh, you need to send me the calculations. Like earning will be on hourly basis and will be on calculated. So I when, when I get all. If you look at the spreadsheet that I gave you, it told you who's on salary and who's on hourly. Okay. It's if it's on salary, then they're on they're they're salaried. It says it. Okay. So you you can get the hours everything the source of the pay, then you just can't see that you were quick. Okay, this is the uh, sheet which you have shared. Yeah. So if you see, where did I put it? This one. Right there. Those ones are salary. Everybody else is paid by the hour. 
Okay, these are on the hourly basis. Okay, power time Correct. after forty four hours. Correct. So forty four hours will be a weekly, right? Correct. Okay. And what about can we do overtime on a daily basis as well, or do we do, we do that? It's no, no. no. Okay, forget it, forget no. it, forget I asked that. Quick, quick. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that will be earning only, no, over time. So you can give a pay head over time here. Earning and calculations over time hourly, okay? Okay, one second now. There is something by law, you can't work so many hours in a day without more than 12 hours. 11 hours. 11 hours. Okay. Okay, so you can add the hourly as well. So, yeah, so how do we do it so that we give overtime after 11 hours in one single shift, in one single day? So, that will be on hourly only. So, you need to uh, get the calculation, the amount from amount, what will be the hourly uh, overtime amount, from amount to amount, and the basic value or a percentage you can select here slab type hold on a sec i'm talking about 11 hours i'm asking you right now so 11 hours if somebody is working more than 11 hours in one day so if they work 12 hours in one day okay, okay then then one of those hours will be paid as an overtime rate how do i do that People have to do that on a weekly basis. Okay, let me go back to the training. I'll find that. What does that have to do with anything? Well, because it, it, see, uh, when you create, uh, when you uh, click on the employee, if I click on edit, yeah. then there's a payment detail. I need to add the pay heads, basic salary, okay. salary, yeah. then the absent. If I'll create overtime, so it will be calc the calculation will be showing me here. Can I ask you a question for a quick second? Sure. If if can we change the the format of the table when we export it into Excel? Okay. So you can edit that Excel when we export. No, no, but can we do it automatically so it exports in a different format? No, this is a default format. Okay, so the question I'm asking, can you change that? Is it possible from your end, you can, from your technical uh, end, you can change Yeah, Yeah, format. I need to check. I need to check with the technical team. Because if that's the case, you export it directly yes, into Excel, mm -hmm. then we can upload it to QuickBooks yeah. from Excel. Okay. And that would be it's just the same one extra step rather mm -hmm. than a, okay perfect. So the event here, others and it will sample to get the answer. Yes. So the overtime will be reimbursement. No, it'll be earning. It will be
if we allow overdose. We should not. We, every no, head department. If somebody works just that. like they did for the wedding. Yes. For Ali and Enders. Yeah, somebody works on the wedding. But I need to know how that works. Sure, go find right. out how it works. Somebody, this happens a lot. People call in sick, we don't have anybody else, especially where we're located. That person's going to get over time. So, it is. This is what I keep seeing in the social service industry. Yeah, yeah. So you what is it, 1285 or 1285? No, but it's less. Or no, it used to be less. It's not anymore. It's 14. Oh, yeah? Straight across the board, everybody's 14. Except for students. Students are like 13. But well, we have to see what the construction minimum map is every time after 48 hours. Mm -hmm. I think regular people is almost enough to study. Regular. And that's, sure. that's, a, uh, that's a standard. But if you want to get into it, you can do it. And uh, some companies, some, some factories do that. And then some companies don't. Don't give all the time because you do days in late or hours in late. So we've got to decide what works. Right? I don't want to do something because we are scared to use the system. I want to be able to no, do no, 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 it's got nothing to do with the system. I'm talking about what we want to do as a company. Are you going to have over time of <sighs> see, the, I have tested one thing, and here I can see total payable hours is 243. Uh -huh. Okay. So this that? this way can this week this this way we can add the hourly wages salary also. I don't think you understand what I'm saying properly. Okay, so um, let's say Ann or Almex, okay, is working today. Okay. okay, he's scheduled to work from nine o'clock in the morning to five o'clock p.m. Okay? okay, okay. But he ends up working from nine o'clock in the morning until nine o'clock until ten o'clock at night. Okay. 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 So, so four hours, work. four hours will be his overtime. Anything after eleven hours, so okay. he would have. So Nine until 11. Nine to, uh, eight would be 11 hours. Yeah, so four hours, you're right. Yes. So four hours will be his overtime. So no. we can calculate the salary on hourly basis as well. So, Virena, I have a question. Yes. Can we let him ask the question first, guys? Because it's like, it's, this is being recorded. Right? Right. So that we can go back to it. Okay, because I just want to know the if they have the rule system here, then it will make it easy. Okay, ask him then. So, right, I just have a one question. Okay. So, when you talk about an hourly employee, right? Yes. In the payroll, should be registered as an hourly employee. Do we set a rule for him that his shift will be eight hours? I mean, 40 hours a week or something like that? Yes, you can. Okay. Now, tell me one thing. Is there a, is there a system available in in uh, easy that for example one day if he works 11 hours right so eight hours is regular eight into five is 40 right 40 hours a week yes okay the moment he goes above 40 <coughs> or okay. 44 okay he's getting over time okay okay so you have that four hour gap between 40 to 44 okay. you, you're getting my point yes i'm getting your point if the employee so, is yeah. Working for 42 hours, then he's not going to get the overtime. You got that. Is there a way to do it automatically without being manual? Mm, no. That need to be like, it, it need, I need to check like the calculation. 
like how it works i need to do it practically on my system once i get all the calculation of your salary system once i'll get all your sal uh, calculation of your salary system like how you get the salary for the employee for hourly and for the salary basis okay so okay. here's so what so once I, want. I will get it that details i'll configure it in my system and i'll test it on of the employees making the pay slip after adding the pay heads and i'll show you i'll send you the sample if it is okay with you <clears throat> then we can go for it okay because so just so that we're clear okay okay what i want is i want it to be shown that anything over 44 hours is overtime yes okay Yes, I got it. Overtime, I, got, I, I got that. I got that. Point. Overtime is, but just so I'm clear, I, I want to say it for myself. Okay. Okay. So anything over 44 hours is overtime, which is time and a half. Okay. Whatever you're getting paid hourly and a half. Okay. okay. Uh, but I want that to show on the pay stub. So if I worked 50 hours this week, I need it to show that six hours of my 50 are paid overtime. Okay. Okay. I also would like on a daily basis, okay? okay. So let's say for the week, I only do 40 hours, but three of those days, I worked 12 hours a day. Okay. I need it to show that three hours is getting paid overtime, even no. though I'm not over. No, 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 sorry, that's correct. Why? <laughs> it's a weekly basis. It doesn't matter if it's a daily basis. Your See, your calculation is on a weekly basis. If you are going, uh, if you are go working uh, three days uh, over time in a week, then also it's going to calculate a weekly. It's not considered overtime if you work twelve hours that day. What it's uh, your calculations for the total for the week. What we have to monitor is that employee not uh, his next shift needs to be eight hours in between. Okay, so cancel the second part of what I said. I don't agree with you. That's yeah. how we get unions. But that's okay. but that's that's no, union. this is the no, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's correct if it is in the union. But we're not Okay. So we Okay, so can you please show me? So, do you have any other questions? I just, yes, yeah. Uh, you just need to get back to us, Vern, on, uh, for me, this is Chris, just would you talk to your technical department? <coughs> they expo the file to be exported in some other format, right? Correct. Yeah. Yep. If it can export into QuickBooks payroll program, so, uh, okay. says, is it possible to send you an email to the Jagdish that you want that file in a, another format? And which format you want the file, you can send that file on an email to Jagdish uh, so he can contact to the technical person directly and get you the solution on priority basis. Okay, I will send him the format that okay. we want. And just we'll mention you that you want the file to be exported from the payroll module of EasyBub. In this format, and we will tell you what version of QuickBooks Online we're using. Uh, so you can, you can say you time. yes you can you can mention that on email as well that you are using QuickBook version of this and you want format on this format. Okay. So, so Jag Jagdish uh, will be able to solve your query on priority as it's a new property and it's on onboarding team. Is Jagdish in the office right now? Pardon? No, he's not. He's Jagdish. not available at present. His shift got over. Okay. Okay. One more. One more question. If the tables that you have already programmed, yes. And if some changes, do we have to manually inform or do it, or you will do it? Uh, you mean to say the calculations, the formulas? Oh, no. Say for example, at the moment I am paying 20% tax. For the example, okay. but the government says okay, from next month you will only pay 14%. Okay. How do we go and do that? Do you do that uh, changes so, or we can? You, you can override? change the taxes here.
exactly. So that means we can override your table. See, you can uh, you can change the tax of the menu items. Tax will be on the sale, right? No, it's it's okay. The the um, we're in the one th two things we need to know is we'll send you the the QuickBooks version, and you're gonna find out from your technical team whether we can export the QuickBooks. Number one. Yes. Number two. In the event we cannot export directly into QuickBooks online, no, I need no, to know. No, uh, for oh, the payroll, payroll things cannot be mapped with uh, a QuickBook. Okay, then I need to know whether we can change the way the table looks in Excel when we export it to Excel. Whether we can change the columns, we can change the way it's represented in Excel. Like the default format which I am exporting, you want it in a different format, right? We want, you, we want or, it or, or, or you want format. or you want to change it after exporting? Oh, before. Before. Oh, you, mean, so, you mean to say the default format you want to change, right? This thing. Correct. Correct. So, so correct. that's what I am saying you. I am sending you this file. So you can send this file to uh, Jagdish yeah. Yeah. and send your file that you want yeah. in this format, the same data. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Not, hold on, one second. Okay. No, He's so, going to send us this one. Yeah, it has. Let, let me articulate this. Maybe I'm not it's in my head and I'm not verbalizing. If we can export it, if we cannot have a direct interface with QuickBooks, the other solution I think is possible by exporting it into Excel. Okay. Then from Excel, we can import it to QuickBooks. That's what you put in. But I'm not sure whether the format, the tables that QuickBooks will accept into its system are mapped or are exactly the way it is that's here. What, that's what he's saying. So we would need to, I would like it to be a default change that's in our system. He's saying. he's saying that. Not, that's not what I yeah. got. Yeah, he's saying that. Yeah, he's, he's saying, saying that. that. So you might. He's going to, he needs me to, to send it. the version that you wanted. Yeah, but it's not like. your version. It has to be the version. <laughs> what, what QuickBooks. Your version is QuickBooks. Okay. So I thought, yeah, I thought you were talking about your version. That no, 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 already no, talking about QuickBooks. Okay, no, okay, no, okay, no, okay. No, okay. No, my confusion. My confusion. So they can adjust. He's going to, so Jagdish will be able to tell us if he's able to change the default so that it matches QuickBooks. Perfect. No, no. If yeah. That's what it is. Sorry. I don't know if that's going to happen, but yeah. that's what we're going to yeah. ask. Yeah. yeah. Perfect. Okay. Perfect. I think it should happen. Good. Okay, I'll just send it. I don't want anything to be manual. Okay. It's another step. It's a whole point. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I know. 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 I Understand. Thank you. Okay. Okay. So next, Byron. Yes. Yeah. Um, it's, um, how do we input? Uh, so we're probably not going to have the finger scanner. Okay. okay. For for one or two months. Okay. So in the meantime, it's going to be myself and Paula. Why not? Okay. You're a couple hundred bucks. No, no. It's because oh, we're just going to have it in here. Yeah. For staff. Yeah. They come in they, or whatever. Okay, so we might not have it for two or three weeks. weeks. Okay. So in the meantime, let's can, assume for a one month. Out? Let's assume for a one month. That's what? Let's assume for a one month uh, that you are not going to get okay. the fingerprint reader, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so you want your user to log in manually. So no, I want to be able myself or Paula. Okay. Um, or Mohan, I, I want to be able to go in and input the hours that somebody has worked. 
So if I'm writing it down manually right now, I want to be able to input it. So how do I input it into the timesheet? See, there is one way. Uh, the, you go to transaction from payroll module. Yeah. Then the timesheet. You need to select the employee here. Okay. okay. Click on add. And you need to type the e in time. Okay. The date. In time date. And the okay. out time. Out time date and a remark. Okay. Add. Okay. So the attendance has been marked for the date of twenty eighth. For the okay. Can I go back one day? Sure. On the payroll module transaction time sheet, you need to select the employee here. Then click on add time in time. Okay. In time date, out time. Can, out so time hold on, date. hold on. Before you, before you push add, can you go go to the date on the end? And can I go? Can I go a day before? You can select first date also. Okay. 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 That's what I just wanted to make sure. In case I missed something, I can still add it so that we have proper, accurate um, time sheets. You know what I mean? Yes. Yes. I mean, I, I mean. Okay. Okay. Uh, then now you see, can you check have... you can check the login status from here as well. Okay. Okay. And then how sorry, and then how do we um so for this for this week, for next week, see even even month, even you have an Excel file or something for that uh, particularly attendance. So you can Sorry. Important. So what I'm asking is, yes. what I'm asking is, how do I? Um, so now, is there any way for me to look at the pay period timesheet for the next two weeks, for example, or the last two weeks? You know. So if, so basically, what I'm saying is, if if starting to starting last Friday to next Friday is my pay period, okay, those two weeks. Okay. Okay. I'm asking you how 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 this works. I, you showed me how to input everybody's time. What's the next step? So you can export that data. I have showed you okay. that file. I just I have shared with you. So when you export it, so, you get all yeah. the detail. Okay, can you um, scroll to the right, please? See, this is the in time. This is this will be the out time. Yeah. Okay. Where's the total hours? Where's the total hours? Here my you can right. see worked hours. Okay. This is this will be the worked hours. Okay. So how does the system? Do I have to select the dates? Which date? You know what I mean? So when I want to, so when I want to export, so if I'm looking at what's today, so if I'm looking at August sixteenth to August the thirtieth, okay, I want to print out all of the pay periods for all my employees, all of the pay for all of my employees. Can you show me how to do that? For that time period. See, I have just let, let me add one more employee detail. For th thirtieth, I'll be adding. Add one more. Okay, just like for sake of example.
<laughs> see what do you want to export a time sheet right so i'll just yeah. I'll check mark this and i'll select only time sheet okay oh and then i can do the date from no go yes. back go back From date August sixteenth. No, you did the twenty eighth. Doesn't matter. So I have done it because I have input the attendance for that particularly dates. Okay. So you okay. can see that's uh, Cecilia, Boaz, Almax. Okay. Works for? Okay. So, okay, perfect. Thank you. Next question is when I want to, um, so what if I have an employee who works in multiple departments? So you can assign that employee multiple departments. So if I click on new, mm -mm. and then have multiple pay rates, different pay rates. Okay. But I should be working for the 44 hours by him creating new with a different pay rate. Exactly. So I can only pick a little okay. A department you can select here. Okay. And the designation. For one employee, just I I'm just checking one second. You can see only one designation can be added. Only one department can be added. We need to add a few more because I already have mm -hmm. a couple of employees who are doing more than one job. With different rates of pay. Yeah. So you can uh, add the designation to the multiple departments. You can see. Okay. So let's like let's a business service assistant example. will be working with the finance information technology, and as well as as the human resource also. Okay. So let's save that and see what happens. So now what do you want to do, like I have added his business service assistant designation to the multiple departments. So they have two different login, so two different display names no, or is it the name, same display? The login name will be only one. See, lo uh, like for the payslip you are talking about? No. Okay. So. Okay, can we can we create one together here? Yes. Okay. See, so you are talking about the login information of that employee, right? In the easy bug. No, I what I mean what I mean is if I pick let's just pick a random person here. Let's pick David Musioki. Okay? Okay. So let's where does he work? He's security guard. Yeah, he was a security guard. Okay. So if he's working housekeeping that day, what happens? Okay, one employee so working at a multiple uh, facilities, right? Say again. One employee is working with the different different designation. 
Correct. Department. Okay, security guard gets paid fourteen dollars an uh, an hour. Housekeeper gets paid fifteen dollars an hour. Okay. So how does the how does Easy um, figure this out? When he signs in, does he sign in as a security guard or does he sign in as a uh, as a housekeeper? Or do I have to manually override? See, if you are going to have a fingerprint machine. So uh, yeah. you need to like when you create it and you give the employee code here in the employee list. I know, that's what I want to hear him say. I know, but you know what I mean? That's what Agar I mean. Fetch kar de de hum this, se, that that. Employee, employee code ka de na, de na hota hai. Employee detail mein. No, 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 you gotta jump in for him. For him, jump in. For him. For him. No, now I'm going to add a new employee. Because what I want him, what I want to see is when you go to the, how do you approve a payroll? First of all, how do I approve that you have worked on Monday? Yeah. Right? That's the screen. Where we should be able to change the code three or four five one three or four five two. Ask him, man. You're my night manager. The for other reason. thing too is if the server comes in and he wants to see more and says no, the bartender today. Let's just do this two different rates here. I don't want to be so, able uh, to punch in as uh, hello. Even they have a different. Huh. So uh, you uh, must be having uh, uh like uh on a uh salary uh, pay slip for that person for the day week. You will be having two salary slips. As in housekeeping and as in security guard, right? I don't. Um, so, like suppose stuff? David. David is working as in security guard and as well as as in housekeeping guy, right? No, I don't want that. No, it so, is. Like we're, you we're, mean we're, to say that one person is working with the two departments? Yeah. Right. But, so both the but, departments shift timing will be different. No. Will no. be the same. So, okay, for example, I'll give you an example. Yes. We have a server. We have a server that also works from time to time as a bartender. We pay a server fourteen dollars an hour. We pay the bartender sixteen dollars an hour. Okay. Okay. So how so, you how you calculate his attendant attendance? So this is what we're looking for. According to the schedule that we put into the system. They'll be working Mondays and Tuesdays as a server, Wednesdays, Thursdays, Fridays as a bartender. So what we would like to see, is it possible that based on the schedule that we input, it will automatically allocate what dollar amount they're getting paid per hour? Because we need to be able to keep track of it on the total number of hours worked per employee as well. So, so we can't have- So for that, for that uh, I, I got it what you mean to say. That suppose David is working Monday, Tuesday, and Friday in a as a server, right? And yeah. mm -hmm. on Wednesday, Thursday, he is working in a bar. Correct. Right. So I think uh, I I am just thinking that I need to test that. I think you need to create the same name user twice, but one as in bar. And second, as in server. Okay, but now if uh, if John Smith, the bartender server, puts their thumbprint to log in, how will it know whether they're a server or a bartender? So when you uh, that but suppose that David is a server, so his employee code will be one one two in the fingerprint reader machine. Okay. Okay. Okay, and as a bar you need to create his another finger as an employee code 113 okay so wow. when uh, for that like uh, on 112 he has registered his thumb as an fingerprint okay, okay. and as in server he re he has to register any of his finger but is this identifying the person i can't read the name David, is this referring to David as two David. individual employees or is David still one employee? See, 
meaning see meaning in in, 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 query. See, in system okay. you need to uh, make the system identify that this person like there will be only one person but he has a two different kind of departments so the system is not going to know whether the punch when he punch on the machine with the thumb so he is not going to, the system is not going to know that he has punch as in okay. server or a bar Varan, yes. can't we make in the system where we punch when you punch his name up it'll come the three different if it's two or three different drop types and then he chooses who he is for that day can that be done no, see what what i'm saying you uh, that okay. david as in server his employee code in the machine of the fingerprint is 112 so yeah. when he punch with the thumb as he has registered on the fingerprint machine with the code 112 thumb okay and okay, so how can we change it manually byron manually. so if we don't have multiple ones how do we change it manually okay jump in yeah so uh varun yes Yeah. So, Viren, Viren, I have a question. Okay. So, let's keep it very simple. Okay. So, you worked on Monday as a front desk agent. Okay. Okay. You are registered as a front desk agent from the beginning of uh, hire day, right? Okay. Now on Tuesday, I don't have a bellman, so I want you to work as a bellman. Okay. okay. The wages of the bellman and the front desk is obviously different. Okay. Yes. Yes. Now, when I'm finalizing the payroll on Saturday. Okay. Okay. You with me? Yes, yes. All right. Can I change while approving? I don't want to create duplicate employees. I want to let him stay one, and I don't want him to be associated with other departments as well. I don't see, want to designate. Can see, I change? System is not. System is not going to know. System is not going to know that we. Well, 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 I know. Well, yes. I know. So you need can to I, tell him. That you need to create two users for that particular employee. No, no, stop. Within second, within eight second, eight second, just a second, okay? Yeah. Listen, when I'm fine, I'm a manager, okay? I will finalize payroll for my staff. Okay. Yeah. I will be the one who will be approving, like okay. a check mark. Yes, yes. Can I change his department for a particular day or not? Department number or a name? Can I do that or not while yeah. approving his pay? Uh, Can you take us to a screen where we approve payroll, please? That's a better question. See, this is a pay slip where you generate for that month for that particular employee, right? So when you select the month. we do here by weekly just so you know okay so when i click on get data so when you change the department of that particular employee so you get that detail but when my question uh, just think on that my question is that when the employee is going to punch in the machine and the easy burp is get fetching the data from the machine okay so how the system is going to calculate on that because when you click on month there is no date selected here okay only month so within what i'm saying is we work by weekly right so let's see uh, i'm i'm approving the schedule the time sheet from 26th to 30th august right yes okay can i change the department for any given date manually not automatically forget about fingerprints see, fingerprints cannot, see <laughs> when when i'm generating a pay slip like i want to i want to see how much the employee is going to get it right so i'm generating a pay slip and when i click on the employee and get the data it is for the month 
not from the date any particularly it will fetch all the month data so we don't want the monthly data we want 14 days that's their work period so the salary is on the monthly basis only Hourly. 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 Yeah. Both. both. It'll be both. Okay. So you want hourly also in the space lake, right? Yeah. Okay. So hourly. You can, hourly. You, you need to hour. you need to mention that at this point as well that you need uh, hourly basis space lake. Obviously, calculated on the hourly basis like you can select the dates here rather than selecting the month and they're paid monthly right yeah, that's yeah, why yeah, yeah. this is the concern this is the concern yeah. right but i don't understand this easy burp has been in canada too so why do not they not have this down already what other companies do the other companies use their payroll system at all that's the question they might not do that Anyway, Mike, can I, is this okay, can I ask yeah, a question? Yeah, yeah, of course. Now, Vren, based on what you're telling us, if David works as a bartender okay. for 20 hours and David works as a server for 30 hours, one is employee code, the bartender is 112 and the server is 113. Yes. Does, are there two pay slips that are generated? On your system right now, has he worked a total of 50 hours or has he worked 20 hours and 30 hours? No, in the you, system? Need to, you need to generate two paisley for that employee with the two different names. See, yeah, that's that's that doesn't work. working Monday, Wednesday and Friday as in a bar. Okay, so David Mayerski as an server and as an bar, there will be two employees, but physically he'll be one only. In system, you need to show two employees. <laughs> As when Sorry, the employee go is ahead. going to punch in the machine, with two di different employee codes. I listen. I understand what you're saying. That doesn't work for us, though. Okay. But this is uh, this is the way the system works. I I get it. I get right. it. I'm gonna talk to Jagdish and see if there's something that he can do to adjust that. If yes. not, then we're probably going to have to return this portion of the program. Okay. Yes, yes, you can and talk. You can, you can have a word with him. Yeah. And Vrind, there's no way, I'm just asking this as a question, that we can input a schedule into the system and the schedule is the default. Yeah, that's... that's, that's no, a default by pay as well. So we put into the schedule Monday to Thursday, David's working as a bartender Friday, he's working as a server. Yeah, they've asked me for that information. So yeah. it defaults into the different pay rates according to the schedule. And all the thumbprint is, is a, an attendance device. That's all it is. Not a, that's all it is. So David now is here at nine o'clock. David has now left at five o'clock. Yeah. But everything is generated from the, the input of the schedule. So that would generate where he's working. Department heads would give you a schedule. They'd say, okay, you're working bartender, you're working server, right? Yeah. And then the payroll would be generated from that. So David would have one ID, but it would pull from whatever the schedule is. Yeah. That's the way a, a lot of the payroll systems yeah. have worked with. Yeah, me too. 
Yeah. Okay. So you change the pay rate, you change the job title and the schedule as opposed to mm -hmm. on the punch mm -hmm. clock. So menu. Extend your meeting. Yeah, scheduling. Yeah. That's scheduling. scheduling. That's, scheduling. That's, scheduling. That's yeah. department head. Your right. scheduling. In and out, you have a control of your meeting. Right. That's mm -hmm. it. Yeah. Well, at the very least, you can use this with a fingerprint scanner. No? Just to get people's in and out? It depends. Uh, we have to see what works. I mean, this is just a one time sheet. I'm just saying, yeah. for, just for attendance. Yeah. Also, yeah. one thing to ask me, ask me that. Ask him. You have a point in your life? Yeah. Okay. You said there's something different right now? No, no, we're just discussing. Ren? Yes. If I have a team of six people, okay, and I want to prepare a schedule, can I do it on one screen for all six people or I have to go one by one by one? Sched can I generate a schedule or not? Like a timesheet? Like employee. Uh... So working working in, days, right? Yes, sir. Basically, like a Gantt chart of the the schedule. <laughs> what word are you using? <laughs> Gantt chart. Everybody knows what a Gantt chart is. No. I am so happy. You mean to say me. that employee working days you need to import it directly, right? So, Viren, like, I have six people in my team. Okay. I want to enter all six of, so I'm preparing a schedule. I have to give schedule out to the team. And I want to enter A, B, C, D, E, F, G on one screen from Monday to Friday. Can I do that? Or I have to go A, then flip the page, B, then flip the page, C. I'm sorry, but I'm not uh, getting you what you mean to say exactly. We're in a schedule, hota, right? Huh. It's schedule with a Varun, Varun Monday to Friday, either a Raj Monday to Friday, either a Dave Monday to Friday, either a right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And a page, what 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 a Timetable, you're talking हम? about. Timetable. Okay. Can we do timetable on one screen or I have to go one by one? Because I want to print one timetable, right? See, in payroll, there is no timetable. No. Oh, we can't generate the timetable? No. We can't create timetable? No, no. This is just basic payroll. So, timetable is the schedule, basically. Yes. yes. So you have to prepare your own schedule. Okay. Match it with the in and out. So that doesn't work. That doesn't work. No. no. So okay. Timetable. We call it timetable. Yeah. It's uh. Cause we need to be able to see the schedule to. Then that you, yeah, like a timetable or a shift schedule, you can say, right? Correct. Yeah. Shift schedule of that employee. That this employee will work on this this date by this this time. Yeah, yeah, I want to do uh, six different people on one screen. See, in uh, pay payroll module, you need to select the, the working days and the calculation goes on hours. Like, shift will be any, like 9 to 7 or 2 to 10, any shift will be there. But the payroll software will calculate the attendance. Where you put the attendance, login status, right? Time sheet. Like suppose I'll select an employee here. He the boss was working from nine to seven. Okay, yeah. I'll then on next week he'll be working from two to ten. Okay. Okay, on thirty first he is working from two to ten. You know what? I would suggest something, Vren. Uh, we need to have a discussion internally about how we can use the system. I think the best way to proceed is let us go into the the trial version and we'll play with it a little bit ourselves with ourselves. Yes, uh, you do that and you find out what things need to be changed 
in your system uh, by by your way in the system and you can suggest to the jagdesh and let's see what he says with the technical team do, do any of your properties that you've sold the system to do they use the the table do they use a table for scheduling no 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 okay because payroll module is basically for the payroll only like uh, the uh, system calculates on your working if it is for work days it calculates as a work days if it is on working hours it calculates on a work hours have you make uh, calculate the pay heads have you managed the pay okay. heads okay like how your basic salary is calculated on hourly basis Okay. okay. Okay, I I understand. Okay, Viren. So can I um, request for um, a day? Sorry, a time tomorrow. No to, issues. Um, you can go... take one day, two day, three day. How many days you want? Yeah, yeah. No, no. For this, for this, I'm gonna put. No, no. For this, I'm putting it on hold. Can I request for a time tomorrow to go over uh, the training for um, POS? Uh, for the easy man, uh, easy burp. The burp, yeah. Yeah, the sell sell point, right? How to sell the yeah, item? Yeah, for the restaurant. Yes, fine. We'll do that tomorrow. Okay. Okay. Tomorrow. okay. Yep. One second. Yeah. Can we do it on Friday? Sure, we can do it on Friday. Okay. Let's see here. Same time on Friday. So by that can time, uh, by that Friday, I'll let, I'll share you the uh, we have a videos of easy <laughs> uh, easy menu, easy bob. So you can go through that video and practice with yourself. So while I'm taking the training, you must be having some questions. So you can ask them. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Please. And then that we'll will set be up great, I think. Okay, so we'll set it up for two thirty on Friday. Yeah, same time the training which started today. Can we do it any earlier? Yeah. Uh, actually, the another person who is sitting with me, who is giving support with me in the night shift, uh, he'll yeah. be available at twelve o'clock midnight. So when he comes, then only I can take the training. Otherwise, I need to get uh, give support to the chat. So what time? What time is twelve o'clock our time? Uh, what exactly time is there in your country? Right now it's three forty-three. See here it's one thirteen a.m. and I think it's five, right? Hello. Sorry, say that. Uh, what what's the current time? It is. Current time right now is three forty-five. Three forty-three. Three forty-three. Okay. So we can do it by two two o'clock or three two thirty. Nothing earlier, huh? Not possible, exact actually. Okay, two o'clock then, please. Okay, I'll be calling you on WhatsApp. Then we'll have a training. Perfect. Same same team viewer. Okay. Beautiful. Thank you so much. Yeah.